Hey everyone, welcome back to the African Web, your go-to channel for everything black culture, history, and identity. Today we're diving into something truly exciting, Burkina Faso's remarkable achievement in space technology. Yes, you heard that right. A country that many think of as struggling with basic needs is making waves in the space industry. But why is this so important? Well, imagine what this could mean for Africa as a whole. Imagine African nations not just catching up with the rest of the world but leading in technology. How will this shape the future for generations to come? How will this inspire other African nations to push forward and innovate? This video will break down all of that for you. So if you want to be part of this movement and see Africa rise to new heights, make sure to subscribe to the African web and ring that bell icon. Now let's get into it. Burkina Faso has done something remarkable, something that many never saw coming. The country has successfully launched its very first satellite into space. Think about that for a second. A nation often perceived as struggling with basic needs has just taken a bold step into the future. But what does this mean for Burkina Faso, for Africa, and for the world? How does launching a satellite change the narrative about what African countries can achieve? These are big questions, and the answers could reshape how we see Africa's role in global technological progress. Could this be the start of Africa emerging as a major player in space technology? What if the success inspires other African nations to pursue similar advancements, sparking a wave of innovation across the continent? First, let's talk about the satellite itself. This is more than just a piece of technology orbiting the Earth. It's a symbol of progress, of ambition, and of a desire to break free from the constraints that have held Burkina Faso back. Space technology isn't just about reaching the stars, it's about solving real problems here on Earth. Have you ever thought about how a single satellite could transform an entire country's infrastructure? Imagine improved communication, better disaster response, and more accurate agricultural data. These are the kinds of advancements that can change lives, lift people out of poverty, and bring stability to regions that need it most. And what if the satellite could also help Burkina Faso connect with the rest of the world in ways it never has before? Could this be the key to unlocking new opportunities and partnerships on a global scale? But why is this so significant for Africa as a whole? When we think of space programs, we often think of countries like the United States, Russia, or China. But now, African nations are stepping into this arena, and Burkina Faso is leading the charge. This is about more than just technological advancement. It's about changing the global perception of Africa. For too long, Africa has been seen as a continent that needs help, not as a continent that can lead in innovation. But with achievements like this, that perception is starting to change. Could this be the beginning of a new era where African countries are seen as global leaders in science and technology? And if Burkina Faso can achieve this, what does that say about the untapped potential of other African nations? How many more breakthroughs could Africa contribute to the world if given the chance to lead rather than follow? Think about the ripple effects this could have. Other African nations are watching. They're seeing that it's possible to break into high-tech industries, even in the face of economic and political challenges. This isn't just a win for Burkina Faso. It's a signal to the entire continent that greatness is within reach. Burkina Faso's success could inspire a wave of innovation across the continent. What if the satellite launch sparks a technological revolution in Africa? Could we see more countries investing in space technology, science, and engineering? The possibilities are endless, and it all starts with one bold move. Imagine a future where African nations are not just participants in the global tech landscape, but leaders and pioneers of new advancements. But let's not forget about the challenges. Launching a satellite is no small feat, and requires a significant investment. Some might ask, is this the right move for a country like Burkina Faso? Shouldn't the focus be on more immediate needs like poverty reduction and healthcare? These are valid questions, and they're questions that the West often raises when African nations achieve something big. But here's something to consider, why can't Africa do both? Why can't African countries work on solving immediate challenges while also investing in their future? Isn't that what every developed nation has done? After all, technological advancements can drive economic growth, which in turn can support efforts to address basic needs. The pursuit of innovation and development isn't a luxury. It's a path to creating a more resilient and prosperous future for everyone. This leads us to a bigger question. Why does the West often seem to downplay African achievements? When Burkina Faso launched its satellite, the news didn't make headlines around the world. But why not? 
Could it be that there's a reluctance to acknowledge Africa's progress? Could it be that some don't want to see Africa rise? These are tough questions, but they're worth asking. Because the truth is, Africa is progressing, and it's doing so on its own terms. There may be a fear of challenging established narratives or a discomfort with acknowledging new players in the global arena. By addressing these biases and recognizing Africa's advancements, we could shift the conversation towards celebrating genuine progress and innovation. President Ibrahim Traoré has shown incredible vision by pushing forward with this project. He's not just leading Burkina Faso, he's setting an example for the entire continent. He's showing that African leaders can drive technological innovation, even in the face of adversity. This kind of leadership not only inspires national pride, but also demonstrates the potential for progress in the most challenging environments. But how often do we hear about leaders like him in the global media? Are we too focused on Africa's challenges to recognize its successes? Perhaps it's time to change the narrative. Perhaps it's time to celebrate African leaders who are pushing their countries forward, rather than just focusing on the difficulties they face. A shift in perspective could lead to greater international recognition and support for the continent's advancements and achievements. And let's not overlook the broader impact this could have on African unity. Imagine if more African nations pooled their resources and knowledge to collaborate on space technology. This shared effort could not only advance the continent's technological capabilities, but also strengthen diplomatic and economic ties between countries. Regional cooperation in high-tech fields could bring countries together, fostering a sense of shared purpose and collective ambition. Could this satellite launch be the spark that ignites greater collaboration across the continent? Could we see a future where African nations work together to lead the world in space exploration and technological innovation? The potential for a united African front in these industries could redefine global perceptions and set new standards for international cooperation. The potential is enormous. Space technology offers opportunities in everything from telecommunications to environmental monitoring. For Burkina Faso, the satellite could help with everything from improving internet access to monitoring natural resources. But it's not just about the technology, it's about what that technology represents. It's about Africa taking control of its own destiny, shaping its own future, and contributing to global progress on its own terms. So, what does this mean for Africa's future? Could we be witnessing the start of a new chapter in African history? One where African nations are not just participants in the global economy, but leaders in innovation and technological advancement. What if the satellite launch is just the beginning of a much larger story? One where Africa's potential is finally realized on a global stage? These are the kinds of questions that make this moment so exciting. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so drop your answers in the comments below. And if you found this video as exciting as we did, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe to the African web. Let's keep this conversation going, and let's keep supporting Africa's rise to the top. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.